If you want to stay up to date with all current hip hop events and releases, make sure to subscribe and become part of this community. Oh, and also go cop that fresh merch and listen to my new album in the description. Denzel Curry is about to drop his new album, Melt My Eyes, See Your Future, this Friday on March 25th. He announced this last Thursday. He dropped a track list, he dropped a cover art, and he, of course, also dropped that release date that I just mentioned. And today, I wanted to go over my expectations my wishes and hopes for this new Denzel Curry album. So let's jump straight into this. There's a couple of things that we can base our expectations for this album on. First of all, his general reputation and his discography, which is looking really solid and we can only expect the best from him. Uh, you know, looking back on Zoo or Taboo, it's just, you know, the last couple of records were just really crazy. Also, the Unlocked record with Kenny Beats just showcasing his rapping skills a little bit more. Um, so, in terms of that, this album is supposed to be great. But then also the singles and music videos and trailer that we got so far. So let's look at this. So we've gotten two singles so far. The first one is Walkin' and the second one is Zatoichi with Slow Tie. And both of them also received music videos. And I re-watched those videos a couple of times now and it still blows my mind what budget, what idea, what effort went into these music videos. If you haven't watched those two music videos yet, make sure to do that right after this video because they truly are just amazing. It's, it's mind blowing. They're amazing. I can not grasp how an artist that is not like super commercially successful like Denzel, not to say that he's not successful, but he's not on like a Kendrick level of commercial success. How an artist like that can can pull those videos off for real. Uh, so watch those insane. The video for Walk and featured him in this you know desert setting that we also saw in the album trailer, which is another part of this. I like when you know artists do these little trailers and they give us a little bit of background, context, and narrative to a record. And, you know, in this case, it was also connected to the music video, so we can expect that there is gonna be some connection between the individual tracks, between the whole track list, and then also, of course, everything surrounding this project creatively, namely, you know, the footage for music videos, but then also, I could see this man connecting other things into a bigger universe of, of this. So, I really like that. Maybe we'll get like a little bit of a short film, that is my expectation, that is even then also connected to the music videos, I think that will make a, a, a whole lot of sense. Then the mu music video for Zatoichi, uh, I think it was even, I mean, it's, if, if it's not on the same level, then at least almost up there as Walken, you know, it featured him in some, you know, forest, rainforest, fighting against these people on like some martial arts type of stuff. Of course, also being a reference to Zatoichi, so that was insane as well. It showed his acting skills uh, as well, which I thought were really impressive, and I like that this dude is just awesome always challenging himself, always pushing the limits, you know, of, of what it means to be him, Denzel Curry, the artist himself, progressing creatively, progressing artistically. So, so far, all of that stuff is just crazy. Go watch that. I can only repeat that. Go watch those music videos. They will blow your mind. So as I said, judging from this and the cinematography of those whole videos and the trailer, we can kind of establish that this thing will be, you know, relying heavily on the concept of it being like a closed universe of not just being a track list of tracks that he recorded and then put together, but he, he himself actually, you know, planning out what tracks mean what and how they are connected to each other in the track list and in the context of this album. Otherwise, you wouldn't put such big music videos attached to them. So this is kind of like always the hope I have for every artist's new album, that they always push themselves, that they kind of push the limits creatively, artistically, and kind of just see, you know, how far can I go with this? What is the concept of this next album? Am I just gonna, you know, be complacent and sit here and just make the same songs over and over again? Or do I actually have a different type of mission with my whole career? Am I trying to, you know, say something? Am I, do I have a message that I'm 
want to get out to the world to have a story to tell and a lot of artists we see nowadays and we take that kind of like for granted and just as you know the the new norm is that these these, these rappers just stack up their money and just make the same songs over and over again and just continue to have success but then for example you also have people like Kendrick who you know sits down and plans out each new album and wants to actually have an impact socially in terms of speaking on certain su you know things and, and substance matters that are relevant in society nowadays so and I, I see Denzel Curry in exactly the same lane like this dude I think if he continues on this path, he's only 27 years old, uh, so he's not like a new, young, up-and-coming rapper, but he's also not like a veteran in the game. If this dude continues to do this with the next two to three records over the you know next five to six years, then this man can definitely get on a level of a Kendrick Lamar. Now, of course, we could also talk about, you know, in terms of rapping skills, in terms of, you know, lyrically, maybe Denzel is not on that level yet, uh, but when you listen to, for example, Walkin' as well, I think some of the pockets he used on there are quite complex. Some of the wordplay he used is not just some, you know, sub-tier kind of lyricism, um, but I, I get that he's not on that completely goat legend status yet but there's also something that he can work on because this dude has the ideas he has the concepts and in terms of just craft of writing lyrics and putting together words that is something he can practice and um, I feel like if he, if he does that and I get the feeling that he is someone who every day gets up and wants to get better wants to progress in his craft then he can definitely get on on a level of like Kendrick within the next five years and I think that will also be the case we we thought that after taboo drop back in 2018 you know i was like yo can he go higher than this people now have these expectations then zoo dropped i wasn't as much of a fan of zoo as uh, taboo but i saw the potential in it then kind of you know unlock drop and i was like oh he's going you know not doing this this theme this narrative type of music anymore but this new album completely proved me wrong at least from what we have so far um and it can only get better from here of course the features on here are also not some you know featuring gunna featuring little baby that are just like random verses on there but actually features that he can use very well and incorporate them very creatively into into the album we've saw that with the um slow tie feature as well so those are my expectations i hope some narrative big theme then also supported by these grand music videos that we've gotten so far and i it's just dropping next week it's dropping in like you know what five five days the 25th so that's crazy to me you know that this album is dropping so so soon and i have really high expectations for this now, of course, everything that I just went over and that I just said, it's just my opinion, just my thoughts, my expectations. Now I want to know what you think about this. Are you excited for Melt My Eyes, See Your Future? What did you think of the material we've gotten so far in terms of singles, in terms of music videos? And where do you think Denzel can take this in the future? Do you also see him, you know, in, in, at the spot of a, of a Kendrick Lamar in the, in the next five years? All of that, let me know in the comments down below. If you watched this video to the end and liked it and you want to stay up to date with all current hip hop events and releases, make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, hit that like button and go follow my social media and most importantly, join my discord in the description. Until the next one, you'll have an incredible day and you'll take care.